Welcome back here to the Monet, where the Pirates have beaten Bristol by 21 points to 15. I'm joined by Harvey Biljohn. Harvey, you must be excited at that performance. Yeah, very much so. Probably uh, a bit surreal at the moment, especially at the end there when it was um, we were giving the ball back to them, then getting it, then giving it back to them. Uh, yeah, we just needed to get a little bit of control at the end there just to calm my nerves, never mind their nerves. But yeah, yeah great, great win for the team. What was the difference, do you think, second half? Was it the replacements? Um, don't get me wrong, I think it was definitely a squad, a squad performance to make sure we could carry it through, but underlying, underlying all, all the effort the boys put in today, I think the defence was just outstanding. And the, the forwards did put in a really good performance today, didn't they, all of them? Yeah, I think, um, I think the forwards were, were, were phenomenal. I think they worked hard at the breakdown. I think uh, the scrummage um, was, just, was, was immense at times. And, uh, and you know, the boys got, got opportunity to play off line out, so it was good. A couple of line outs went astray early on. What happened with that? Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to go back and review yeah. it on, on, on the footage. But, um, but, but overall, at the moment, obviously, I'm still very happy with their performance. Kieran Goss, superb on the wing. He took his chances well. He's really got wheels, hasn't he? Yeah, opportunist score, the, the, the first one. But um, you've still got to finish them. He had a fair, yeah. fair way to go, and it showed his, showed his pace. Um, and then the second one was just a great finish, great work from the backs off, the forwards recycled well and, uh, and we thoroughly deserved that score. We had a, a view of the replay of that second try and Tom Kessel's pass was pinpoint. Oh, I, I, it was, a, it was a, an outstanding pass. Uh, I, th I think I actually mic'd it during the, during the game to, uh, to Ian. I said that was a phenomenal pass and, uh, and uh, you know, he's really growing with every game that he plays. Yes, he scored, well, eight tries now in the, in the season, so he's the top try scorer for the Pirates. Yeah, they're all from about a yard out, <laughs> although he'll probably tell you differently, yeah. How pleased are you then, as backs coach here at the Pirates, these backs really are exciting. Yeah, um, they're exciting, but we, we've got an opportunity. The, the guys are young, they're enthusiastic, and, uh, and you know, we're, we're playing lots of, lots of games and things of training and during the week that, that Ian's involved in and I'm involved in, and I think that, that work is paying off. And today the crowd really got behind the Pirates. Oh yeah, it was a phenomenal crowd today. It was always going to be against Bristol and um, you know, definitely, definitely when it got tight, you, 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 could, you could feel the tension in the ground. Well, I had Gavin Cattle with me and he was really getting tense and excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Well, well the, the final whistle couldn't come quickly enough at the end there. Um, but um, I just think, again, I've got to say, the contribution from all 22 players was, was outstanding. OK, Harvey, thank you very much and congratulations. You certainly brightened up a Sunday afternoon. Thank you very much. Cheers. OK, Harvey Biljohn, the Pirates backs coach, who's been talking about today's game. And Kieran Goss is just hanging around here in the wings to come in and talk to me. Kieran, welcome to Pirates TV. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Another good performance and you really showed your pace today. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was just about uh, putting away what opportunities we got. Eh? And what about the pass from Tom Kessel? Oh yeah, it was a beaut. He, he keeps telling me each week, I'm going to give it to you someday, and it was today. And your first try, you kept looking over your shoulder. Were you aware how close they were? Well, a few games ago, I knocked one over the line in a similar situation, and there was no way it was happening today. You must give credit to your forwards, though, as well, because they, they did put in a really good performance. Oh, great shift. I've got to commend the boys. Darren Barry, who came off at the end, great game, and they showed real guts and determination in stopping the Bristol attack. A good, good performance. I said to Harvey Biljohn about the Pirates' backs. He's obviously doing a lot of good work here as backs coach. Yes, he is definitely. We don't get much We didn't get much opportunity today. It was more about reacting on mistakes, but the little opportunities we got, we made, we did well with them. Okay, congratulations, Kieran, and, and well done on your two tries and man of the match again. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Okay, Kieran Goss, the Pirates' winger. If I can just bring in Bristol coach. Hi there. Hi, welcome to Pirates TV. Hi. How disappointed are you with that outcome? Yeah, I've got disappointed in the, um, in, in the result itself because of the performance. Um, we felt that we had enough territory and possession in that game. Uh, and yet again, um, sort of the accuracy at key moments uh, across the board just, uh, just, cost, just cost us. And as we knew, with a spirited team like, like Pirates the, um, that have pace to burn, <laughs> that um, once, they, once they get behind you, uh, they're a very, they're a very dead, deadly team, and uh, you know, and probably rightly so. Today, they were the, the team that uh, deserved the result. The game seemed to change during the second half as replacements came on for both sides. It really livened up. Yeah, I, th I think it was always an edgy uh, start of the game. It was always going to be going to be that way. I think people started to tire, come in a little bit more space in the second half. I think both teams started to offload. Uh, once that offload, sort of creates a little bit more, a little bit more momentum, really. Uh, and as I say, you know, it was it, sort of us 
knocking at the door and then creating turnovers which allowed you know some excellent counter attack from from pirates it must be a conscious decision by bristol not to kick the goal early on or do you rue those chances that you possibly missed now yeah, it's not a conscious decision it, it, it's, it's a decision that we that, that, that we talk about in the week and we make every decision and the captain is on the pitch to, to what seemed to be right at that at that moment really you know we, we, we did kick we did kick penalties in the first uh, in the first half, yeah. um, we scored a driving line out um, yeah. from yeah. from a kick to the corner. So we could have quite easily have taken that, converted it and got three, or missed it and got nothing. Going to the corner, we ended up we ended up scoring. So I think it's about making sure that we take the the right options, and when we get the chances into the corner, that the, you know that, that we as a forward sort of then go on to, to execute those. Before the game, we look at, looked at your bench and identified how strong that was, and I think that was proved this afternoon. It's a uh, squad game, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we, we've got a uh, squad of 47, you know, and, and, and we back them and we back them all, you know, with some, some serious firepower being at home today. But we believe that the, the 15 that started uh, and the 22 on the bench had enough to come here and, uh, and do the job today. But they had to do that by, by being accurate uh, and executing. Uh, and if we, we didn't, um, well, we knew we were going to be up against it and, and we were right, rightly so. This season, the championship season, is all about finishing in the top four, and, and that's obviously what your aim is. Yeah, absolutely. Once you're in the top four, it then starts. It then starts again to see how that uh, competition uh, pans out, and, and maybe in previous years that's been a been a downfall of downfall of Bristol. But uh, I mean, one of the things that Sean and, uh, and Andy are definitely leading in is that you know this this stage is about getting into the getting into the top four and, and picking up as many as many wins as we can uh, to make sure we get that. And at the moment, it's hard to say who those uh, top four are going to be. That's right. You already played London Welsh and, and they beat you, they beat the Pirates as well. Have you got a plan to turn them over when you come across them again? Yeah, it's funny actually, it was, it was a similar game we just said in the huddle there, a very similar game to the, uh, to, to the London Welsh game for us. 70-80% territory, lots, mm. of, lots of possession, um, just didn't quite finish the chances. Uh, I think, top of my head, I think you might have got into the 22 four times and scored yeah. and scored three tries which which is right. which is excellent you know excellent rugby and uh, and it was a similar similar game with uh, with Welsh really um, all all we are driving ourselves is to to make our standards better and to make sure that, that we execute the chances that we that we create uh, and I don't think it really matters if we're facing Welsh Pirates or Ealing mm. you know in, in this league when you take when you get a chance you need to take it uh, and if you don't um, you get you get hurt yeah, beaten, that's right well, thank you very much. Congratulations on your team's performance because it made for a really good game. Great entertainment for the crowd. Yeah, no, I think Pirates played their, uh, their large part in that team. OK, thank you very much for talking to us on Pirates TV. So a, a view from Bristol there this afternoon on for the Pirates' performance. The Pirates have beaten Bristol by 21 points to 15. Two tries from Kieran Goss and one from Tom Kessel at Scrum Half. And two touchline conversions from Kieran Hallett have given the Pirates the victory. It's a welcome victory for the Pirates here against Bristol and they move on now to next week's game. So join us again on Pirates TV on December the 7th, I think it is, for the Jersey game in the British and Irish Cup. Final score here from the Monet, Cornish Pirates 21, Bristol 15.